Hello, my name is Denise O'Donnell, and what I would like to do to you today, for you today, is a, um, basically let me show you a finished one. This one is not varnished yet. It is a bloom on black and white, blown out with embellishments, and I'm going to go through that with you. Let's start again. We'll see. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to do a black and white base coat. What I use, I use a semi-gloss interior house paint. And I'm, I mixed it up. My recipe is 80% house paint, 20% acrylic, which I use Artist Loft. And um, I add water until it gets to the consistency I like, which is basically not much of a mound, as you see. And it's less than a one-second trail. So I've made up a black and a white. I'm obviously not going to use all this, so I'll pour some into a smaller cup. And as I go, I'll explain myself. And I'll... At the end, I'll let you read all the recipes so you don't have to keep rewinding. Okay, so to begin with, I'm going to pour some of my white, which has a few bubbles in it, in the middle of my canvas. This is a 10 by 20 inch canvas, so it's, I have done bigger pieces in the same design, just for the sake of the video, keep it short and sweet. The bigger ones take a couple of hours. <laughs> I'll probably run out of space on my phone. Okay, just stretch it out a little bit. You see the bubbles in there? We'll get my hair dryer out a bit in a bit. Well, as soon as I finish the black around the outside. It's important these two are exactly the same consistency. I will use more black than white. It's a bigger area. I do I you are on a whirly bird, it makes it a lot easier than stretching over. All right, that's plenty, because I'm going to squish it all around. And then we'll fix that blob of black in a second. And these are just cheap combs. I break them in half. I don't want to mix the black with the white. As you're coming up to your white, just let it just touch the edge. As you come, and if it's too thick, we're going to go all the way to the edge. That's already touching. I get a feel if it's too thick, but we got a lot of paint right here. Make sure all the edges are covered. Should be, we got excess paint here. Okay, that was easy enough. Now for that dot in the middle which really won't make much difference once we put the colors on now I need to get my hair dryer out and pop these bubbles don't know if you can see these bubbles popping but there's plenty okay down to my color palette I've got a lot of different colors here I'll just pick one of them I'm using different kinds of paint. Okay, for my um, colors, you can see the consistency. Let me tell you the recipe. Right, I use 40% acrylic. Mainly I use Artist Loft, which is in the big bottles. Let me show you. They're 32 ounces. And it's a liquid, a fluid acrylic. So... Most of my paints are not tubes. The tubes are a heavier paint. This is a liquid. So I use 40% acrylic, 40% 
thick base coat, which I use a Valspa ultra thick base coat. It's about um, $45 a gallon, but you don't use it very much. And 20% polycrylic, um, which is a varnish. And that's it. And you get to this consistency by adding the polycrylic or not or not adding as much but this is how we want it not a paste but thick you see it and do that with everyone you can use powdered you can use thick base tubes you can use any acrylic just remember you've got to play with your thick base coat and your polycrylic till you get up to this consistency and every single one has to be the same choose whatever color you want I've got a color palette over here you'll see as I go so I'm going to start building the first bloom which I'll do right here just take a little bit make sure we're not dripping all over the place Maybe that orange I just showed you is also out this lot, yellow. It's a six ounce bottle for a dollar, which is really good and they work excellent. You see that bubble I got in the pink there? Now I'm not going to bore you to death doing every single one, but you're going to watch me do the first one. And then I'll edit my video. And then on the blue, I've got a light blue here, which made by meh. Master's Touch, it's a Viridian Blue, so that's not artist love, but like you say, same consistency, as long as you get it there, it's okay. Um, um, magenta here, this one's the artist love, but this is a tube one, so I had to be careful and put a bit of extra polycrylic in it to get it that consistency again. And I'm done on the colors. Let's see how it works out. And I like to either put a copper in the middle. That is a deco art. Uh, copper. A little bit more expensive than the rest. And or I put gold in the middle. This is also deco art. This is a um, brilliant gold. I think I've got a bottle to show you there. Splendid gold, sorry. Now that's a cheaper one. The, the actual copper is more expensive. I'm going to put a little bit of gold in the middle of this one. Consistency. Right, now onto the cell activator. Which I keep in a little tube like this. Shake it up. It keeps, you don't have to make it every time. Uh, my recipe for this is... 50% Floetrol, 25% Elmer's Glue Oil, 25% Acrylic. Now we also add to this, it, oh, let me show you the can, hang on. Minwax, it is a pre-stain wood conditioner by Minwax. I like to add five drops per ounce. So if I've got three ounces of paint in here, I'm going to put 15 drops, or like a quarter teaspoon. I'm going to put that right in the middle. You don't want too much, you don't want too little. I'm going to blow that out now. Now you can use a hairdryer. I prefer to just use manpower here. Blow it straight down the middle, then you've kind of got to blow it across. We're not trying to push it down, we're trying to make it go across. Okay, now you see the black in the middle there? And you can blow at it.
and it will bring out more cells. As right, I think you've got the hang of this. I'm just going to shut up now and you can watch and I'll edit my video. Right, I need a little paper, huh, canvas? Okay, pretty soon now. Right, now this was the first one I did, so let's blow it out a little bit. Right, embezzling. Embezzling. Oh, so funny. Embellishing. Tools I use for embellishing. They are small kind. Needles, knitting needles, crochet needles. I kind of like uh, the skinny one, but I try them out to see how my paint's acting. Now, the very first one I did was this one because I can tell it was gold. So, here we go. You need a lot of napkins for this. I have some ready. Every single time you dip in the paint, you wipe your needle. Because we've got white and black. Okay. Yeah, this paint's getting tired over here.
I don't know what's going on here. It looks awfully good. It's drying. Right, now there has to be a little bit, I don't know what happened here, I believe it dried a little. 
Not bad. Wow. Sorry if my head was in the way a lot. There's always little bits and pieces afterwards, you think. Oh, something should be done there. So, you can look. If it's still wet, you can mess with it. If um, it's starting to dry out, you don't want to drag the paint. But not bad. You leave that there. Okay. Righty ho, I like that thing. Take a screenshot of it. Righty ho, that's Denise O'Donnell. That's how it's done. And I'll let you, I'll probably post on Instagram, which is Denise O'Donnell, 96753. And, uh, hey, here we go. Thanks very much for watching.